Hi, this is Diamond. Um, I am coming to you guys telling you guys a funny, hilarious story that I just thought about and I, I don't know why I didn't put it in my Love Beneath series, but you know, it's kind of funny so I don't really, that's kind of serious so I don't really want to make it comic relief or whatever. So, this is my story of my first official girlfriend when I was like nine or ten. Her name was Kiana. She had a brother named D. And we lived in St. Ambrose Shelter in Boston, Massachusetts. What was around and big right there was wrestling and Legion of Doom, like Hawk and Animal and all of that stuff. We was really into that. So, um, Ultimate Warrior, you know, that was really the cool stuff. So, her brother was older. He was probably like 13 and I was nine and she was probably 10 or 11. She was taller than me. She was bigger than me. <laughs> um, you know, that was it. She said that she wanted me to be her boyfriend and so that's how it started. In the shelter, there's like a playroom for the kids where the toys and all that stuff and the Nintendo and, you know, Super Nintendo and Sega's and all stuff is in. And then you have like a TV room where the um, parents in the shelter watch TV. It's like a lobby. It's like a bunch of seats around and then there's a big TV. And, you know, it's just a lot of stuff, you know, entertainment. And uh, me and Dee, you know, since I'm going with, I'm boyfriend and girlfriend with his sister, me and him, you know, kind of had a camaraderie or whatever. So we would hang out, you know, do fun stuff. So, you know, at this time, I had not learned the joys of masturbation. <laughs> I was not a sexual being yet as far as, like, my physical self. Um, I never had actually ejaculated. D was 13, so, you know, he was in his prime. And so, D was sitting next to me and he was talking about his dick and talking about, you know, um, you know, how he can make white stuff kind of come out of his dick. <laughs> so I'm like, why is white stuff coming out of your dick or whatever? So he was like, well, let me show you. And we went to the little room in the back, you know, where the toys are and the game and stuff. And it's kind of, at a certain time of the night, that's closed because the kids are supposed to be asleep. And but the, it's kind of unlocked, but the lights are off and whatever. So we go in there and there's this big window from the hallway that you can look and see into the room because kids is normally in there. So the parents have to be able to look into and see what they're doing. But it's dark, the lights are cut off. So, you know, the light from the hallway is shining into the room from the window. And so we can kind of see or whatever. So he gets to stroke it as me. Stroke, 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 stroke. So I'm watching him like. <laughs> and, you know, finally, I guess he comes. And so he has his cum in his hand. And he was like, he was like, now this is called semen. <laughs> and I was like, and that came out? And he was like, yeah, do you see that white stuff in there? That's sperm. And I'm like, oh, so so when I get your age, that's what I'm gonna be able to make some sperm too. And he like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna be able to make this come out. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Next thing we know, the door busts open and the light cuts on. Kiana is standing in the doorway and she says, What are y'all in here doing? And we like nothing and Keanu was like y'all was in here doing something nasty I am telling on y'all D said something smart but you know he's big so she can't really do nothing to him and so she comes on to me she was like what are you doing here with my brother he is not gay and you ain't supposed to be gay either and she said boom <laughs> and punched me right here and I'm like and I push her. <laughs> and so she grabs me by my shirt and swings me <laughs> over to the wall. Grabs me again and swings me over to the wall. So at this point, I'm trying to fight her. And then me like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hit her, hit her. But she's so much bigger than me. And she's like some big precious ass bitch. And 
He just keeps swinging me, swinging me, swinging me up against the wall. Now, mind you, I told you we was in a St. Ambrose shelter. <laughs> and St. Ambrose is like a Catholic nun shelter. So the people who enforce, like, the rules are nuns. They walk around in nun outfits or whatever. So we're fighting in the middle of the hallway. And we got nuns coming in, breaking us up, slamming us. <laughs> So they slam us, they separate us and slam me over here, the nun lady, some big old Polish nun lady, slam me over here on the floor and and the other little skinny nun lady, Mary Clarence or whatever, uh, slam her over there. They call our parents, they kind of talk to us and and she, at the end of this thing, she, we both have to say we sorry and um, the next day, Kiana comes to me and say, well, I don't want you to be my boyfriend anymore because I don't want a gay boyfriend. And I say, okay. <laughs> and that was the end of me and my first girlfriend. <laughs>